Partner from Akudese, and this is my partner, Raket Malu, and we will be presenting the prototyping of an IoT network through the development of a wireless multimedia sensor network, also known as a WMSN. Take a walk with me and find out more. Here, the network architecture of the wireless multimedia sensor network system is shown. The system is comprised of five Raspberry Pis, two of which act as sensor nodes and the remaining three represent a base station node and two relay nodes. The system is designed to capture multimedia data from the mine tunnel and transmit the sensor data over TCP sockets to the base station node using multi-hop communication. Communication of the data captured in the form of images or short video clips takes place over Wi-Fi and this aids in the remote monitoring and surveillance of the mine. A simple user interface is then used to display the sense data as well as additional features such as node memory usage and power consumption. These images provide a detailed account of the node placement within and around the mine tunnel. As you can see, the system first monitors the network. The user is then asked whether they would like image or video data, oscillated image. The base station then accesses each node and initiates the node specific functions. At this stage, packets of sensor data are being sent over the network. There is a scheduling delay between the two sensors. Once the base station has obtained each file, the user is given the opportunity to request additional data. The base station then cleans up all system functions on each node, including itself. A Python graphical user interface package called tkinter is used to display the captured data. As can be seen, the window of observation provides the user with options to navigate through and review data that has been obtained. In order to identify the sensor from which the data was captured, the ID of the sensor is appended to the image name. This assists with data management and enables fault localization. Additional features that the system monitors include network latency, memory usage, and power consumption of each individual node. Our system has shown that it is able to perform its desired function of sending an image over a wireless sensor network. Thank you for watching.